The city of Portland is home to more than 600,000 people. But among them, living on the streets and in makeshift shelters, thousands of men, women, and children who have no place of their own to call home. With so many homeless on the streets, even open hearts can be tested, and helping hands can begin to close. We're outside the Davis Street Tavern in downtown Portland. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm just really hungry. I'd love to get you something to eat inside. Really? Yeah, Thank you. Hey, how are you? Hi. I uh, just hoping to get this guy some food. Enjoy, okay? You're welcome. Okay, you need to get the hell out of here. Leash. She just gave you money, I, I just want some food. Yeah, that's not your money. Okay, I'm sick of you homeless people all over town. There's a shelter where you can get some free food. You're at a bar when a good Samaritan gives a homeless man $20 for a bite to eat. But as soon as that nice customer leaves, the bartender takes the money and tells the man to get out. Will customers stick up for the homeless man or will they allow him to be kicked out into the street? What would you do? Okay, you need to leave, huh? You're homeless, you stink and you're ruining the meal for my real customers. We begin rolling. Hi, how are you? And right away, this man notices what's going on. Yeah, enjoy, okay? Thank you so you're much. You're welcome, have a good day, stay warm. Thank you. The second our Good Samaritan leaves, our bartender, Tyler, tells the homeless man, David, that he needs to do the same. You need to get the hell out of here. Okay. Which just give me some money. I just, just want some food. Yeah. That's not your money. Okay. Look, it's, it's, it's sir, this is bad. Out. This is bad for business here for my other customers. You need to leave. And I just some food. There's plenty of shelters and soup kitchens right down the street. Okay. Do not come into my restaurant again. Could you just get some water? There's a hose out back if you'd like. Okay. And now one of their friends arrives. This is not appropriate behavior. This is a public establishment. I need you to leave. We send David away so the bartender can talk to the group. Guys, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get him out of here. Yeah, I work two blocks away. Yeah, I, I, I work actually right next to the mission. And oh, really? Yeah. So this surprises us not at all. Yeah. Okay. So we're right down the street. We, we, have to, like, we have to deal with it. We have to step up with these people to get into our office. What do you guys think I should do here? I'll talk about did he, did he not leave? No. No, I think he went to the bathroom. He's stressing my guy out so much. He's disgusting. He's like, he needs to get out of here. Wow, wow. You guys think I should kick him out? While one shakes his head, yes, the others have no problem with David being there. Oh, yeah, you guys should kick him out. You're fine with it? Yeah. <laughs> What should you do with issues like this? Well, I think maybe we have different opinions because I would have just let him eat. Yeah, you, not so much, huh? Yeah, I, I think sometimes it makes people uncomfortable and there's, uh, you know, Portland goes to great extents to make a lot of services available for people. So I think pointing th towards those services is probably one of the better things for them, actually. Oh, no, 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 I'm a paying customer. She gave me, she gave me the money. This next customer watches as Tyler takes that $20 and puts it in his own pocket. You should leave right now. No, no, she, she gave me the money. Sir, it's not a soup kitchen, this is a restaurant, okay? He appears to be bothered by the way Tyler is treating David. Sorry, I just, she, you know, she gave me money and you have my money now. Okay, that money is now my tip for putting up with you, okay? Once he pockets the money and kicks out the homeless man, our bartender apologizes to the customer. I'm really sorry about that. They're, they're all over the place. I'm sorry. I probably would have given him the money. You would have given him the money? Yeah, she gave it to him. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, he's just going to use that for drugs or whatever, you know? It's... I probably would have given it to him, though. Time for us to talk to him. I live in this neighborhood, and I don't give money to people on the street because I know it may not go for food, it may go for drugs, I mean, drug dealers everywhere. So I understand, but that woman gave him the money, so I would have I given it back. 
back at the bar, this couple faces the same ethical dilemma. It's complicated because I can see your point of view where if you, if you allow that to happen, then it might become a habit in the future. But this time, our bartender gives them the choice about how to handle the money. You think the money should go back to him? You can give it back to him. I just, I can't be the guy in my restaurant yeah. continuing to, yeah, like, you know, run a soup kitchen here. Cycle, right. yeah. I, you know. Yeah, it's okay. uh, we'll give it back to him, and hopefully we'll get food and not drugs. I'll go explain it. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay. So this kind customer brings the money outside and talks to David. I talk to that guy, and I'll let you keep the money, but, um, like, out of respect for him, maybe he just, whatever it is, his choice, whether he wants to feed you or not. So uh, I think we'd appreciate it if you would take it and order food somewhere else. I really appreciate it. Good that. luck, man. No Thank worries. you. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hi, guys. How Hello. are you? Hello. <laughs> I've seen you before. I'm John Kenyonis. Hi, Alini. <laughs> Good nice to meet you. you. How are you doing? Great We're doing too. a TV Good. show called What Would You Do? You know, I think that's acceptable for him to make the decision. I was just telling her I was close to when Leaving, he yeah. took the money, I was close to, you know, saying, let's get out of here, you know. She didn't seem like she was coerced to giving him the $20, so. But I see where the owner of the establishment would have a hard decision to make. We're rolling one last time. I haven't just yelled real loud. Get out. Get out now. Get. Don't come back. I just have the $20 back that she gave me. Please. She gave me $20 and you have in your pocket. Once again, our homeless man gets thrown out of the bar. But now watch what happens outside. Hey, man. I'm all right, I was just in there. He explains what's going on. He takes the $20 and, he, and then he kicks me out. He, go tell him right now you're calling the police. Well, he said he'd call the police on me. Do you think I should go back in there? Yeah, tell, tell, him, tell him to call the police or you're going to. Like, you want your money back. That was your money. You handed him the $20 bill and he kept it? That's okay. That's stealing. Yeah, okay. One of the guys decides to go in with him for support. I have a phone. I'll go with you. You'll go in. All right. And now, J.J. Purcell talks to the bartender. Well, you can't do that, really. That's true. You can't do that. He's panhandling outside of my restaurant. I can't run a business with him. And he comes in here, and he won't leave the restaurant. He's not spending his own money. But someone offered to buy him something to eat, right? Right. OK, so you should at least give him his meal, his change. We tell Tyler to give back the money. Once she gets out of here, here's her money. Out on the street, we learned that these men stepped in because they've been there in David's shoes. I've been out here on the streets before. I know it's like that people treat me like yeah. um, You know, and you should always have someone, you know, if, if you feel it in your heart that it's wrong, you should definitely say something. What made you do it? Um, I've been struggling in my life. I've been in his shoes. Are you homeless yourself? Yes, sir. How tough is it? Uh, it's extremely tough. What would you say to all those people in that restaurant today? I would say, put yourself in their shoes, try to have some compassion, and try to think about what that other person might be going through, what troubles they've had to face in their life, what obstacles they've had to overcome, and the fact that they may have a mental health issue or an addiction that could be keeping them from being who they really are. That could be you. That could be me. Yes, sir. It is me.